Guys, they said Naomi was surprised, as in she couldn't believe her ears when Ashley was complaining that this other Oloris have turned Kabiesi's heart against her. And that is why Kabiesi no longer cares if she exists or not. Hmm. That despite all her efforts to get Kabiesi into talking with her or discussing with her, let them sort out their differences. Kabiesi is trying to avoid her by all means. As a matter of fact, even when she cries, that Kabiesi no longer sees her tears. Kabiesi no longer cares about her. And now the other Oloris are mocking her. <laughs> a lot of people are saying that why would people who are not Kalabash carriers turn the heart of a man against the original Kalabash carrier, the priestess herself, the daughter of Oloku, the daughter of Olokun? <laughs> Isn't that uh, funny? Because to me, it is funny. She is supposed to be the one that will understand all of this juju stuff more than all these other Oloris. Other Oloris will do goes to their Babalawo, pay the Babalawos and everything. But her own, she is Mamalawo herself. So even if they do anything like that against her, uh, based on her level of uh, spiritual matters and everything, she she is supposed to have undo it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, because I don't see the reason why she will come out to complain something like this, to complain of something like this. If it is another Olori that is not uh, uh, in any way related to this uh, Calabash thing, priestess thing, that is saying all of this, uh, it will be understandable that maybe that one does not know the great Babalawos, them that does this jazz for all of these women. But coming from her, <laughs> it is funny. It is funny. They say when she said that, that was when Kwenami, it became very clear to Kwenami that during that period, that uh, she and her gang, her gang, as in Ashley and her gang, that they actually used something to turn Kabiesi's heart against Queen Naomi then. Yes, this is what it is. <laughs> you see, in this life, eh, that cup that you don't want people to measure for you with, don't use it to measure for others. Because one thing is certain. You see, table, table do turn. Table is always turning around. And if there's anywhere you are not doing well, when it will turn to you, do not complain. Just accept it with good faith. Mm -hmm. Accept it with good faith. Knowing that there was some time that you have dished out the same thing to another person. Yes, I don't see the reason why you should be complaining. Because the main problem right now is that if you, if you watch closely, Apart from Toby, who have not been in the palace for some time, for quite a long time now, due to the uh, twins, and uh, she has been outside. Check, I'll ask yourself, when was the last time you saw KBSC with Ashley? I don't, I can't remember. I can't remember. Close to one year now. Is either you see KBSC with Mariam, or you see him with uh, Ronke. Or you see him with uh, Temito, or you see him with uh, Doctor Elizabeth. Even Doctor Elizabeth herself, she doesn't even like to be to be going out like that. Anytime you see Doctor Elizabeth with these people or with Kabiyas, no, just know that that event is taking place around the palace. Anything that is far from that, Doctor Elizabeth is not going. The only time I saw her go, that, that was when Jonathan. Our uh, uh, ex president, a former president, Jonathan buried his mom, mother. I think that was when uh, Dr. Elizabeth was seen in Delta, is in, in, in Bayesa State during the burial. Apart from that event, I can't remember the last time I have seen Dr. Elizabeth, but her own is obvious that they say she is. She has phobia for flights. She doesn't like flying. And again, she is such a busy, over-busy human being. 
You know that one thing about these people that de deals with or uh, deal on deck and all of that, they are always busy. Busy, over, over busy, they worry them. But one good thing about that area is that the money, they show. If they play, they show. <laughs> because among all the oloris there, they say Dr. Elizabeth is the main olori, as in she is the main woman with the money. You know, all these other people that is making noise, they don't get half of what Dr. Elizabeth have. So, let's say Dr. Elizabeth own is that she he doesn't want to, she doesn't want to be going out with KVS. Because see, if she is a uh, going out type, ha, I'm sure all these other lorries will not be going out with KVS. So, if you watch, you find out that they have been going out with her. Some people will say, eh, hey, Ashley is in UK, that is why. It is not true. That period that Kwenami left the palace isn't actually in UK. She is based in UK, but she's coming down every now and then to be with KBS, to go on outing with KBS. Even that time that Kwenami was uh, in the palace, Ashley too was based in UK, but she is coming down every now and then to attend the occasion with them. Mm -hmm. And the money for the flight is not the problem because KBS have all the money. Even Ashley said she have her own money, but not to compare with Dr. Elizabeth. Though. So it's not all about where she is staying. Even, even We even heard that she wanted to come come down to Nigeria to come and base. KBS told her that that would be a waste of time because it will not change anything. The thing is that KBS find out that Ashley uh, played a great role in make, uh, making Kwenami leave the palace. And ever since then, KBS is no longer happy with her. That is why she's finding it so difficult to have a good time with KBS. You know? So, complaining that these other Oloris have turned KBS's heart against her, it simply means that there was a time she and her own group turned KBS's heart against Queen Naomi. And now the table have turned, she's complaining. They are now using the same cup that she used to measure for Queen Naomi to measure for her, and she's complaining. She shouldn't complain, no. She should take it with good faith. After all, that is life. That is what is called the law of karma. It, it used to come faster than we can imagine sometimes. So they say after she lamented bitterly, she says she's returning back to UK and nobody will see her again. <laughs> I pray, let her not go and buy herself oh. <laughs> over a man. <laughs> over a man who doesn't care <laughs> hey, Ashley should have known that KBC did not love her that much KBC just married her to pity her <laughs> yes because if KBC married her she had been in the picture all this way KBC would have married her even before any other person self anyway guys don't forget that these are all alleged information okay always bear that in mind give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel share my video I love you guys bye see you